I hope everybody can see my screen. Yes, yeah. we do. Um, so now we have, we have seen uh, all our panelists speaking on, on the various technical features of uh, safety, and of course, a very insightful presentation from uh, my previous panelist, Jaram, on, on, on safety imports. I have got a presentation here, which gives an overview of what is what is special about Gulf Tain, what do we do, and what is the Gulf Tarian way, as we call it, the GTV, on, on how we optimize safety in our ports across the business units. Before I get into the core safety uh, aspects and initiatives and uh, the viewpoints adopted by Gulf Tain, a quick introduction about Gulf Tain. One of the leading privately owned port operator and 3PL logistics provider, the first dedicated container terminal in the Middle East delivering first class services in 1976. And we also have a very established transport function within our 3PL logistics provider, which is under the panel of momentum logistics. And from a certification point of view, yes, we are certified to the three standards ISO 9, 14, and 45. And we are the first port operator from the Middle East has probably entered into the US ports. And several times we've been awarded the Port Operator of the Year from C-Trade and Lloyds, as well as the Best Technology Implementation Award and CSR Award for the wellness programs in place. So that's a quick intro on Gulf Dana and the journey of how we moved from local to global from 76 to 2020, as you can see. So we've started off in 76 as a Port Operator for Sharjah Container Terminal, which is Port Khalid. In 86, we have moved into the Corfa Khan port, um, which is, again, operating under the Charter Rules and Governments. In 2008, as we embarked our journey into the logistics field, which with the banner moment of logistics, a third-party logistics company operating under Gulf Tainer Group of Companies. In 2010, we have moved into uh, the global journey, I would say. So we have moved into Iraq in 2010, followed by, in 2011, we have moved into Um Qasr Logistics, followed by Saudi into the 2013. 2014, we started operating the port of Canaveral in USA. And in 2015, we also started operations in, in various other uh, aspects of the Canaveral port as well. In 2017, we started off with our digital innovations and moved into SAP and TOS. And we've been uh, having all of these platforms for operating our port safely. 2018, again, embarked into Wilmington in, in USA and in 2020 and so on, the journey continues and looking into more expansion plans in the future. What do we do in a nutshell? Yes, we are an international port management operator. We also have in-house terminal management. We operate the logistics cities within our portfolio. We have a dedicated container sales and, and repair services and conversion uh, units within our portfolio, a dedicated transport function, and an inland container depot. That's in a nutshell as to what we do from a Gulf Tainer perspective. So just adding on to the global footprint, yes, we operate in Wilmington, USA, Canaveral, Herbal in Iraq, Umqasar in Iraq, in UAE, Sharjah, Port Khalid, Port Corfu Khan, and in Jubail, the Gulf Steve Doring Company. Optimizing safety imports is, is a very, very uh, sensitive topic and it, in fact has a lot of importance in today's world. How do we do that? I mean, how, how do we attain safety and how do we ensure zero harm, which is our core goal? Of course, we do that in collaboration with our department. So we do have a very close working relationship with the operations um, department, the engineering function, and all of this collaboration results in what we achieve towards operational excellence. So as you can see, we have, we have ensured that our vision is, is safely sustainability and continuously improve the Gulf Tainers portfolio of container terminals, and the propositions, the propositions of that or the value of, you know, uh, imparting from those collaborations is very well evident in the way the Gulf Train is moving forward. So we are moving towards operational excellence and digital innovations in every manner. Um, we strongly believe stakeholder involvement and stakeholder engagement is the core of everything we do. I mean, safety is not a single department or a single person's responsibility. It's a core collaborative function and it has to be a collaborative approach to attain zero harm workplace goal. And we very well ensure that all of the operational excellence uh, initiatives that is in place, it works very well with the support functions like the human resource, the finance. So it's, it's more of a, an, a, a, a clear process approach that we have here to ensure that we are moving in the right direction when it comes to improving the safety performance. 
zero harm workplace it is at the core of everything we do at Cult Demo. And what does that mean in simple words? We ensure that we have a specific approach to workplace health and safety through our processes, procedures, activities, methods, statements, and everything. We ensure that there is little or no risk to our people and operations at any point of time and no harm or no um, you know, unsafe situations to any of our contractors or any of our visitors visiting the terminal. So the zero harm workplace is, is, is a, a total approach that we have on the port towards our people, towards our visitors, towards everybody who's associating with Cultain. And it is at the core, as I said, core value of everything we do. Is it achievable? Yes, we are doing it, we are achieving it. And that's through the key focus that we have in place in terms of adopting innovative technologies to run our day-to-day -day operations, real-time reporting through our QHSE software in terms of the hazards, near misses, for state cases, because all of the preventive maintenance programs or the preventive or the you know, leading indicators, these are the safety barriers, I, I would say, which will help us in improving our safety performance. Engaging programs, Definitely people engagement is very, very important because if you control the 4M man method, machinery, material in, in your day-to-day -day function, then definitely you get to a stage where zero harm is, is more of an achievable goal. Enhanced risk control. Yes, we do have dedicated risk assessments for every function and activity within the terminal. And again, stakeholder involvement in every sense is taken care of in these risk assessment programs that we have. Continued upskilling. Yes, training is very important and an ongoing training program or skill development program is what we focus through uh, ensuring that we are able to do what we are required to achieve. And all of the core focus and initiatives that we have in place is very well in, in line with the key values or the Gulf Taylor values we have, which is passion for performance, creating customer success. Uh, we perform as one business we ensure that we respect each other in terms of our functions. And we think outside of the container, even though we operate containers and, and vessels, we try to think innovative. And that's why it's a Gulf Tainer way, as I mentioned earlier. Key initiatives. Yes, some of the core things that we have established over the last year, um, or say as a, as a country improvement program, we have a dedicated QHSE champion for every function who will act as the extra pair of ears and eyes for the safety representatives across the board. They, and this, this culture has actually enabled us to ensure that we have um, every, every department with the safety champion in, in every role they do. Team meetings, regular team meetings and, and collaboration is very important for the key goals to achieve. And do we have to govern that? Yes, we do that to our deep dive safety audits in addition to the internal audits and external audits that we face on a yearly and monthly basis. Safety walks by the leadership teams is a very key factor, as Jerome rightly said, it's a top-down, bottom-up approach that's very important in the world of safety. So when we have the leadership team demonstrating their commitment and the leadership towards ensuring that safety is, is in every day and every walk of life, that's very, very important. All of this, when, when governed or reported or managed through a smart app, is, is that's when life makes easy for every everybody working in the terminal. So we have 100% automation of QHSE management system, which enables us to have real-time reporting on incidents, audits, risk management, you know, hazard observations on near miss incidents, because this is at the core of everything we do, and safety needs to have these parameters in place. What are the other factors that we look into as a, as a proactive monitoring approach or, approach or a process in Gulf Tana? We have a robust preventive maintenance program, a very well established asset management and uh, engineering function within Gulf Tana, uh, spearheaded and managed by the top uh, talented uh, workforce within the engineering function, who takes care of every, every aspect of every equipment and the infrastructure to ensure that we operate safely on a day to day basis. Pre-shift checks are the, at the core of everything we do and two box stocks. Niamh's reporting is, is encouraged at every stage of the workforce so that they feel empowered to do that. And one of the core things is that unsafe work stoppage is authorized to everybody working in the terminal or any of the visitors. So if anything is not safe or potentially not safe in, in, in any of the Gulf Tainer ports, that's important that we you know, report immediately. And people are empowered to do that and educated as well through our toolbox talks, uh, regular leadership meetings and, and uh, leadership programs as well. Hazard observation reporting is also at the core of everything we do because 
hazards if identified and and you know with a proper root cause analysis and correction of you know implementation of corrective action will actually lead the way to avoid incidents so on a on a monthly basis or on a on a on a quarterly basis when we look at the trends we see that we have more of you know the preventive programs being reported rather than a reactive and preventive act monitoring is is of core importance in container do we have a, a review of how we do things? Yes, we do have a, a weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly review of all the processes and po uh, policies that we have in place, which is again, um, you know, looked at by each of the stakeholders at all levels through our consultation participation approach as well. Nothing is possible without the people being at par with your expectations, and that's why skills development training and ongoing refresher training is very core for culture and people management as well. Some of the key uh, safety measures that we've adopted to in our equipments, as you can see from the forklifts, we've got the safety lights equipped and that. The core train safety features, uh, again, I can probably say that we have already have, having more of the, most of the products of uh, the panelists that we've discussed today uh, in terms of the anti-collision systems, overlay, overload protection systems, the twin lift prevention sensors, speed alarms, wind alert sensors. So all of this have been discussed in detail by our panelists and most of these features are available in our ST screens and mobile hub screens as well. And also with the other terminal handling equipments, we have got cameras and sensors, all of this built in so that it's it's more of a, of a technical control that we put in there other than or in addition to the people control that we try and do at every step of our daily operations in our bulk data terminals. How do I how do I prove or how do I ensure that what I've spoken till now makes sense to, to the delegates listening to me today? The results of our awards or accolades that Kaltena has attained in the last so many years is, is going to speak for itself. So we are proudly uh, being awarded the International Safety Award from British Safety Council. And this is the 10th uh, time, or 10th row in a year, I would say. I mean, we've been participating in these awards for the last 10 years and we've been successfully able to get the awards based on the criteria questionnaires that we have. So all of this, and also in addition to that, the Rose Park Gold Award, which is again being retained by all the in a group of companies in the last uh, four to five years, we are continuously receiving the Gold Awards. These are not, as, you, as everybody in the industry knows, these are core criteria-based awards where you would have to give facts and figures to prove what you're capable of and how can you demonstrate the move towards operational excellence. And that's why, uh, you know, Gulf Train has been proudly able to retain these awards without a doubt. And we are also members of British Safety Council and ROSPA, which helps us to give a lot of, uh, you know, uh, core training programs to our workforce because these are training programs that's been taken from these uh, reputed organizations. So it's well designed in the in the field of HSE and it's, it's well demonstrated as well from the operations that we witness on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have um, a lot of importance on first aiders, firefighting day, and global safety day. And, and here are a few photographs of how Gulf Tana across the globe, which is Iraq, Saudi, US, UAE, and uh, the transport companies, how we celebrated the global safety day in, 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 in April 28, 2021. Um, people really felt um, you know, uh, empowered on the day because every day, is, is a day of safety or never give safety a day off is what we believe in, in Gulf Tena, but a, a day to embark on or, or you know, celebrate as a global safety day and to have a, a stakeholder involvement at all levels is also a key message that uh, we want to give to our workforce. So it was, it was done with success and we had a lot of uh, feedbacks from our staff on how we can improve this in our years coming forward. So on that note, uh, it clearly you know, is a demonstration here as to what safety means to Gulf Tainer and how are we progressing in the right direction and rest assured it's it's a great team to be with and at this point I would also thank the entire management and the staff who's making Gulf Tainer a day you know safe every day thank you very much